parents divorced when I was relatively young, so being the child of a singing, single working mother, there were always issues of um, financial security. Growing up with, a, with a, the threat of, of poverty was, um, was something that, you know, we always drove a used car and my mother supplemented her income by painting houses in the summer, which I didn't see many other kids that I went to school with. I didn't see their mothers up on ladders all summer, you know, painting houses to, to be able to buy our winter coats. We didn't have many luxury items. So um, even when I was in the band, up until about the sixth year, I really didn't think it was going to provide any security for me, and, and my family didn't either. I was constantly encouraged to, um, oh, well, this was a good thing to do, and you got to travel a bit, and it was fun. Now go back to school and, and you know, become something that uh, will provide you security. Well, the decision to leave the Minix was made two years before it was made public. So uh, I feel that even though we had two successful records in that time, the Unplugged record and Our Time in Eden, my mind was really set on leaving and I think the success of the last two records was just, um, just made me feel better about the decision because I was leaving people with a bit of security. And I'd been doing the same thing for 12 years, it, probably like anyone who had the same job for 12 years, it just felt like a, a time to change. I felt like um, it'd be interesting to collaborate with some different musicians, but I didn't want to do it as a side project. I just wanted to make a break. The thing that I was most nervous about was um, finding the right musicians to play with, because that was the most important thing to me. It's hard enough to find someone you can have a conversation with and, and feel a connection with, let alone someone that you can um, live with for long periods of time as you do when you're making a record and touring and still be able to create something with them. Making music with someone is is really difficult if you don't feel um, a sympathetic relationship there. I think it's universally proven that bands are very similar in structure to families. It's really in, probably intangible if you've never been in a band. You're, your destiny seems very collective until you wake up one morning and say, no, 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 I'm an individual and I can, I can move freely about the world without five other people attached. Disturb me with all your care and your worries On the days when you feel bad While When I sing my own music, that it's um, something that I invented and created and something that I'm giving to people and there's something really powerful in that. What they see, they say I must be one of the wonders of God's own creation. And as far as they see, they can offer no explanation Newspapers as such And to my questions They want confession 
It's like a raw sense of honestly understanding who I am at that moment through the music. The dancing is completely improvised. The thing that I wanted to do is make a record very quickly because I didn't want to deliberate about it and let it become too heavy. The weight of it being, this is my first solo record and this is, this is the defining record of my career. I wanted to get away from the trap that that could create. What I wanted to do was just put out a record of all the songs I wrote that I would felt best about in a, the year period after I left the band. As far as sound, I wanted it to be very pure and, and very simple. Because the Unplugged record taught me that you can just go on stage and perform live with a well-rehearsed group of people and a strong set of songs, and you can make a record. Pop bands with a spiritual side to them. I'm drawn to that, and R.E.M. had that. They have it still. That's the thing that attracted me to them. I think the, the record Murmur, I probably listened to that 40 times the first two weeks that I had it. You know, it was just there was something about it that just touched me. I think it's good for an artist to metamorphosize, and I think that's what they've been able to do with every record. And it's exciting. But I don't know if I'm being nostalgic or if, um, you know, just for personal reasons or, or what, but when they do a song like South Central Rain or um, Fall on Me, I get a feeling that I don't get with a lot of the newer material. This may well be my favorite song uh, in the REM catalog, and here it is. <laughs> Zion, bargain buildings, wings and pulleys, feathers hit the ground. I think of myself as a singer and a songwriter. I always felt as a songwriter that I was really concerned about delivering a message. I try not to, to get too involved in anything beyond that. My theory is always if I please myself, then people will be pleased. 